Hello everyone and welcome to Gamey FTL. My name is Josh and this is Particulars, a physics-based puzzle game in which you move around as a quark and then you get to interact with various uh, other quarks and various other particles and forces and it's really interesting from uh, both a physics standpoint and a gameplay standpoint. So I'm going to go to level select because the level I'm on now I don't really know how to do it and I think this is probably the most interesting place to start so the majority of things you will be uh, thinking about for the first half of the game are things that repel each other different particles that repel each other different particles that attract each other and also particles that when they touch they annihilate and explode and and you are one of those particles that just doesn't uh, if I touch this black version of me over over in the right next to me then I will explode uh, which isn't a good thing oh I almost fell into the black hole there I think a lot oh there we go see I was annihilated <laughs> Um, and various things get produced when you annihilate stuff. There we go. So we have to feed the black hole, I think, in this one. Got very close to blowing up there. We have to make sure that it stays alive. And in between levels, there are voice... Normally these would be voice acted, but I turn them off for the... Uh, purposes of this review. Normally there would be voice acted bits like this and then in between chapters there are cutscenes which explain where you are, what you're doing. Basically you're at like an arcade machine or your character is at an arcade machine and she is trying to uh, figure out something which I don't know what it is yet because I haven't finished the game. <laughs> but what we are trying to do here is spawn lots of positive particles to make the black hole positive, hopefully. Think positive. And now it should it should eventually, there we go. Okay. And we need to make sure that in these, whoa. Damn, okay. In these uh, corner circles, we have, uh, what are they? Hang on, I need to find out what they are. Up quarks. I'm a down quark, I'm attracted to up quarks, which are positive, I am negative, so we're attracted to each other, but I need to make sure in these areas, we have up quark, uh, all at the same time, for a certain period of time, to make sure that we can finish the level. <laughs> come on, come over here. There we go, okay. And that's how you finish a lot of the levels. Later on in the kind of second half of the game, you will be using strange quarks and bosons to like change what you are, change your properties and your attractiveness to other particles and things like that. I quite enjoy this chapter because you get to do cool things with black holes, which is quite a lot of fun. Uh, it's not very easy though because there's a oh there's an up quark that I need to kind of catch this thing there I got it and I need to make sure that I don't damn oh, I annihilated with the anti up quark yeah the, the damn it the white ones are uh, normal matter and the black ones are antimatter. Ooh, I got attracted to a black hole there before I finished the level. And it's really interesting. The problem is the difficulty spikes dramatically sometimes. There are fun levels like this where you just have to like push around particles to like feed the black hole in this one and oh, just push these around this corner because they can't go through this barrier for some reason, whatever reason that is. And <laughs> um it's really enjoyable, it's quite fun. It's not very 
puzzly, it's not particularly difficult, but it is good fun. But then there are like really technical challenges where you need to put your own quirk in the right place at the right time for the right amount of time. And even if you get it slightly wrong, you fail the level and then you have to redo it. And the other frustrating thing about that is the fact that you... If, if you fail a level too many times, it says, oh, you can, you know you can skip this level, right? If, if you're not doing well, then you can skip it. And then, I don't know whether it's just me that does this, but when games do that, it really, really annoys me. I'm like, no, I'm fine. I can do it by myself. Thank you very much. Um, and that just really, really annoys me. But apart from that, the game itself is really interesting. Some levels are hard, some levels are way too easy. Some are just really good fun, like uh, if we go to the main menu, there's a really good level at the end of this chapter. Uh, we'll select. It's not too easy. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, this. This one. It's really cool, because this is kind of like a climax, I think. Uh, Story-wise, I'll not spoil anything, but you have to spawn, like, these part. hang on, is it doing anything? Oh, okay, it restarted me, there we go. So we spawn these particles here, using these spawners, and then they get stuck inside these uh, fields, so they can't pass. And how that works is that there are other spawners that these particles become part of or like go into if you see them and we have to make this a super giant black hole which is really quite cool right uh where are we going we're going to this one and we're going to this one to spawn more stuff and then it it's just a really cool idea uh because it's it's just so fun. Normally you're like, oh no, a black hole, I don't really want to be any part of this. But this time, you're like, yes, make the black hole really big and it's really fun. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. Oops, you get kind of stuck to the uh, up quarks quite often. Um, I'm kind of stuck on chapter six because it requires some technical knowledge of how various parts particles in the game go together and spawn stuff like that and it's not it's not the easiest to figure out all the time and I I am having trouble with it so I guess that's not a great thing it, it doesn't seem to have been tutorialized very well so I'm at a level where I just don't know what's going on Okay, let's spawn another one of these. Nice. The game itself is really cool. The story, I think I should talk about the story a little bit. So, you are a scientist and it goes into some, like with quotes of people, like your teachers and your lecturers and things like that. You're a very antisocial person, but um, she, you know, she becomes a scientist, and then something happens, which I don't know what it is, and she has to go into hiding. And then people are searching for her, there are cutscenes like that, and you just. Oops, those annihilators, I wanna. I wanna put this here. There we go. Spawn another one. And it's quite interesting to kind of watch stuff like that play out in, in the story and like get a read on her character from how other people see her. And also there's a kind of thing like the whole you need, whoa, I'm just kind of stuck in a circle here. I can't do anything. Um, yeah, there's the whole, like, oh, we don't know what's going on. What, has she stolen some research or something like that? That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Oh, here we go. Supermassive black hole. And yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking at the moment. So 
I don't know. If this is your kind of game and you're willing to put up with difficulty spikes, then you might, well, enjoy it a lot because I found it interesting. I found parts of it kind of infuriating, like saying, oh, you can skip this level, that sort of thing. But otherwise, if you're interested in checking out this game, then there is a link in the description. And if you do, let me know what you think of it. If you have enjoyed my video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to discover weird, cool, interesting, and free indie games, then subscribe for daily videos. And until next time, goodbye.